Lingard, he enjoys it here. Um, Jose Mourinho has already said that he wants his team to play dynamic, attacking, attractive football. He wants plenty of goals. And you sense that Jesse Lingard, if he does what, he, what, what he's done today, time and again this season, he'll be crucial. He could be crucial. They've got so many players in that type of position of Manchester United at the minute. An embarrassment at Richard, you could say. But they need to because, you know, over the last few years, they haven't scored enough goals. And here we see Jesse in full flow. This is 1-0. Great run. You know, nice top finish in the end as well. And it's a... Uh, it's a big goal and a big occasion and big game players are what you need and certainly what Manchester United need. I think the biggest thing there Jesse Lingard said was he lets us play free. Yeah. The front four, you know, we've seen under Van Gaal, they were rigid, everybody stayed in their position, but as Jesse Lingard says, the manager lets them play free. And I, th I think that's a, a, a statement going forward for this season. Yeah, and I think that the players are very receptive to that. I think that was something that you felt every time you went to Old Trafford or you watched that team, they felt like they was really kind of under pressure to do exactly what was told in, in, in the warm-up in the meeting rooms on the training ground. Here they seem to be moving them, running up off the line, seeing Jesse Lingard on the left-hand side, Marshall on the right, so it's a lot more free and loose. That's how attacking players want to play, isn't it? I'm still not sure about the celebration. Maybe I'm just getting old. It's called the dab. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> You'd know that. Um, I think that we can now hear from Des Kelly. He's with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the man who scored the winner today. Zlatan, winning goal at Wembley. How does that feel? Feels good. Feels good. Uh, first official game. We play for, for the trophy and we win. And that's, that's what it's all about, winning trophies. This is my 31st trophy, a collective trophy, and I'm super happy. This is why I came, and hopefully I can win much more than this. You didn't have many chances today, and chances were few and far between, but when it came, you were there, powerful header. No, not so powerful. It was a good angle, but, <laughs> but it went in. That's what counts. And, uh, and a difficult game. We play against a good team, the champions from the last season, and uh, you can see that it's a very strong team, collective team, and uh, our team is something going on, something big going on. We're in the beginning, but we begin with a trophy, so it's a good start. So you're known as a bit of, perfection, as a bit of a perfectionist. Are you settling in nicely here? Are you feeling good? I feel good. I feel very good. The team is... It's fantastic, good uh, teammates, good spirit, good good professional the players and the coach. Everybody knows the coach. He, he wants to win and he does everything to win. And, and uh, the club outside the, the team is, is probably the biggest club I played in. The only one I can compare is, is Milan. And, uh, and I'm very honored and proud to be here. Yeah, last time you were here at Wembley, you lost 1-0 with Sweden. So a nicer day today. Yeah, but they lost also 4-2 in my home. <laughs> Congratulations, Saturday. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, Jose has described him as a man who was a gift for the younger players at Manchester United. The gift today was his to the Manchester United fans, the winning goal in this one. And you were frustrated at half-time, weren't you, with Zlatan? What did you make of the second half performance? Well, I, I, me and Rio were talking throughout the game and saying this could be his type of performance or his... What, we, we, what we're going to see more of, I think he can have quiet games but still be a match winner. He's that type of player and wasn't a powerful header, but he couldn't have put in it anywhere else in the goal and, you know, to score. Just crept inside yeah. that last little... Left foot offside? Looked like it was just offside, his left foot. But very close and always give the benefit to the attackers, Jake. There was not many centre-forwards in the league last year that powered over Wes Morgan and Robert Hoof. So they put the ball in the box and Zlatan Ibrahimic will attack it and he will score a goal. Well, I mean, that's what I said to you before. He's the type of player who can actually command the respect and the, the, the concentration of two players. That's what's great for the players that are going to be around him, and they've got to exploit that space. Because he, once you do get the ball into him, and I thought at times Man United maybe passed sideways a little bit from last season, hangover maybe with Van Gaal. I, I, I believe that Mourinho would want them to get the ball into him much more often and much quicker so he can be more of a threat. Any a striker pitch. wants it quick. Yeah. Any striker wants a ball in quick. And you see there, wide player, little shift and knock it in. And that's exactly what centre forwards want quick balls in. OK, you can see Leicester trudging up the steps now to get the medal. They didn't want the runners-up medal for the community shield. But the key thing today, there was so little between these two sides. This is not Claudio Ranieri needing his players to go to the dressing room for a dressing down. No, they had a chance with Musa, the header, just before Ibrahimic scored. That goes into what the Leicester, so lot, lots of positives. I thought Musa, when he come on, done well. Mendy in the middle of the park was breaking things up, so lots of positives today from Leicester. Vardy on the score sheet once again, so... 
you know, they'd be positive. I know they've lost, but there's good signs for Leicester going to next season. It was a typical Leicester performance, and everyone's saying, well, maybe this season they're going to be found out. But we've known that Leicester play this way for the last six months, knowing this is how they play and doing something about it, yeah. two very different things. And they will be successful if they stick to this. Yeah, and no, I think Musa showed today that he's a signing that who's going to have an impact on this Premier League. And what, what, what I liked about him today is that they had a confidence about them as well. They looked out, they believed they should be here, they enjoyed it. Obviously, yes, they wanted to win, but I think this Leicester team, are, a team who are going to be, I wouldn't say fighting for the league this year, but they're going to be any pushovers, going to be up there, definitely flying around the, uh, the European zone. And the Maui Gray as well, he looked yeah, really lively sharp. when he came on. So I think, you know, they didn't use too many players last season, Leicester. They had a very small squad, obviously Champions League this year. They're going to have to have an extra couple of players, but the couple of players that they brought in and one or two others are looking like they, you know, they could have a nice ball of players. That's the key challenge, actually, for Ranieri, is now to juggle the pressures of the Premier League where the expectations are high with this sojourn into the Champions League. I think they could go and enjoy this season. There'll be a different expectation on them, but they've won the league last season. Yeah above all expectations, they can go in the Champions League, enjoy it, and I'm, I'm with Rio, I don't think they'll win the league this season, but I think 6th or 7th, I think around there, I think it'll be another fantastic season for Leicester. Is there no pressure on Leicester though? Because we said towards the back end of last season there was no pressure because they'd overachieved, but now maybe there's a little bit more because no, no, they are the defending champions. No, no, I, I think the pressure comes from, from within. From outside, there's no pressure on Leicester. Everyone will be happy if they finish mid-table, but the yeah. players, personal pride and desire to achieve and to get near where they achieved last season, and that feeling of winning, becomes an addiction. I never had it before I went to Man United. Once I got it, I was never leaving because that addiction to win stays with you and then players I'm sure will be no different. In a moment, Manchester United will go up and lift the Community Shield. A shot there of Jose Mourinho deep in thought. Talking of pressure, how much pressure on him? A Manchester United side that underachieved last season, they will have spent hundreds of millions of pounds by the time the season starts. From the outside, lots of pressure. You know, we all look in and think, oh, there's a lot of pressure on his shoulders, but to him, nothing at all. He's lived with it all his life. All big players do, you know. If they if they couldn't handle pressure, they would never have, you know. They would have made the debut and quickly, you know, fallen out of the game. So he's just used to it. That's just everyday life for Ibrahimovic's Ibra pressure. And let's be honest, it's the perfect time for them to get the yeah. job. Not after Sir Alex, you know. You would say two relative failures of Manchester United in the previous two managers. It's the perfect time for Jose to get this job. But he can't afford to struggle again. Having struggled at Chelsea last season, then it becomes more than just a blip. Well, there you go. As you can see. Jose Mourinho leading Manchester United up the steps of Wembley. The Reds will be hoping that this is a regular side if their new manager leads them to glory. I'll hand you back to uh, Stephen Darren's a terrific presentation. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, he's leading from the front, isn't he, Steve? He's gone up those steps and he's leading his team up there. He's even taken some time to sign an autograph on the way up. And even though it's only the Community Shield, you want to get the first one in the cabinet. Absolutely. That's what he's done today. Absolutely. There's more pressure on Jose than there was on... Claudio Ranieri, wasn't he? So the fact that he's going up as a winner, I think that's all that's important. I think it's a bonus the fact that one of his new signings, Zlatan, scored the, scored the winning goal. But he wants to go up and be the leader of the team who, who wins the trophy. Well, he won this competition with Chelsea back in 2005 and he won the Super Cup, which is the equivalent title with Porto and Inter Milan and Real Madrid. It's his 23rd trophy in all, including. Uh, these competitions as well and it will be presented to Manchester United by a man who's uh, part of the fabric of the club isn't he David Gill who was the chief executive with Sir Alex Ferguson there's Ed Woodward the current chief executive David Gill operating as the acting FA chairman at the moment and Mourinho's got his medal but won't stick around and I thought as well the interview that Zlatan Ibrahimovic gave Des Kelly told you a lot about him and the kind of winner that he is oh, this yes. is my 31st trophy yes. he's counting and he wants more yeah, and it's important, I think, the fact, you know, as Rio's rightly saying, for your personal pride, he wants to come here and he wants to win trophies. He doesn't want to be classed as coming here just as a swan song just because he hasn't played in, in, in England in the Barclays Premier League. He wants to come and win things. So the fact that he's scored the winner today, it should be immense pride for the man. As Manchester United players making their way up the steps, shaking hands with uh, Sir Bobby Charlton, one of the guests of honour today. Wayne Rooney, the captain, has managed to make his way through. And 78 days after lifting the FA Cup, it's another trophy in the cabinet for Manchester United. Jose Mourinho is back in the Premier League and back with a trophy. The Community Shield is the first one for the special one.
feels good, Steve, doesn't it, when you're a player, you've been in this position before where you get your hands on a trophy to kick it off. I know there's, from Manchester United's perspective, a whole week now until they do it for real against Bournemouth away from home. But to do that, to get one under your belt, doesn't matter so much for Leicester, I presume, because they've still got the confidence of last yeah. season, but it's a building block, isn't it, it's, for, it's, for, for Jose Mourinho? Yes, Marino. it is, and for everybody can say with Manchester United, because of the, the club and the... The last years that they, they had, there's a lot of pressure on Edwards, which you've just seen on Jose, the manager, on the new signing. So, to get a trophy like this and come off the field as winners, Fletch, yes, we know that the big things and the important things start next week, but still, it's vitally important that in a one-off game like this, you do the business. So, Manchester United get the trophy, Jake. Jose Mourinho gets his first one as the manager, and you wonder, when it's all said and done, how many more he will add to the community shield that Manchester United have picked up today. And fair play to Claudio Ranieri and the Leicester players for sticking around to watch the trophy presentation. But that's the key thing. Yes, well done. You won the Community Shield first time at Wembley as the Manchester United boss. This is never enough, though. It's all about building from this point onwards now. Yeah, this is a platform. This is a platform to go into the season with some confidence built. Yes, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has scored an important goal. Confidence for him. Jesse Lingard, a young player coming into the team. Yes, he scored a goal. But fitness, everyone's through, hopefully, unscathed. But most importantly, that winning mentality, that winning start. And it's never enough for big clubs, Jake. When, you know, you win one trophy and it's right, what's next? You have a day or two where you enjoy it and then you focus on seeing where your next trophy is going to come from because these are players that are hungry. They, as I said earlier, they don't like losing a five-a-side in training, let alone a, 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 a cup final. So, you know, they've got a lot to play for this season. They need to win something this season. And for Leicester, channel that frustration of watching another team lift that trophy and take that into the new season. Use that as some inspiration. Well, they'd be disappointed, Jake, but they would be looking forward to next week. The, the champions of the Premier League, they'll be starting, you know, next week with the, with the game. You know, they'll fancy winning, so I... They've lost the, the community shield, but they're still Premier League champions. Absolutely. And it all gets going for them away at Hull in just a few days' time. OK, just to let you know that you can also see the UEFA Super Cup in the next few days here on BT Sport. Of course, we're your home of European football. All the Champions League and the Europa League stuff coming your way over the course of the season. But Real up against Sevilla, you can see Tuesday from 7 o'clock. And our first Premier League game of the season brings you the other side of Manchester. Manchester City, favourites for the Premier League title up against Sunderland. David Moyes, their new boss. That's Saturday from 5 o'clock. Also available in ultra high definition right plenty more to talk about and we will do just that as the champagne starts to spray for manchester united they celebrate here on the pitch the first trophy available for jose Mourinho in the new season he wins just what can he do to build from here see you in a moment <laughs> 